Revelation chapter 14, 6 to 7 links the everlasting gospel with judgment. In declaring the everlasting gospel, the first angels caused to fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come. Revelation 14, 7. The message of the gospel includes both the offer of salvation and the warning of the judgment. These messages in the gospel teaches us that all people are sinners and have short, fall short of the glory of God. However, through faith in Jesus Christ, we can be forgiven of our sins and receive eternal life. This offer of forgiveness and eternal life is made possible through Christ's sacrificial death on the cross. At the same time, the gospel also warns that those who reject this offer of salvation will face eternal judgment and separation from God. This is the theme that is presented throughout the Bible, where Jesus and the apostle frequently warn of the judgment that is to come. The message calls on us to fear God, give him glory, and worship him because the hour of his judgment has come. It calls us to repentance, faith in Christ Jesus, who is our hope and refuge. It's essential to understand that judgment and the gospel message are closely intertwined and shouldn't be viewed in isolation one from another. The gospel proclaims that forgiveness of sin and eternal life can be obtained through faith in Jesus, while also cautioning about the judgment. During the judgment, we will be held accountable for our actions. The truth about our life will be fully disclosed. Let us embrace the everlasting gospel which offer us salvation and forgiveness, while also reminding us of the judgment that has begun. As we put our faith in Jesus Christ, we can approach the judgment with confidence, knowing that we are secured in his love and grace. May we live our life with deep reverence for God, giving him glory and worshiping him in sincerity of heart. Let us share the message of the gospel with others so they may find hope and assurance in Christ who saves us and offer us the gift of eternal life. Hallelujah. And that is the nugget. Thank you for studying with me during the week. Um, Pastor Bob is back next week with lesson number seven. We are happy you can join the Sabbath School Nugget and we will see you next week.